Welcome to the Sculpture Center. I'm excited to show you some new techniques and ways you can use paper to make something look three-dimensional. When you are creating your landscape, you're going to need some of these tools and techniques. You need to know how to make a tab to your paper. You need to know how to make the paper curve. And you need to be able to make some notches. So let's get started. I've already cut a circle. Now I just use purple. You can use whatever color you need to use in your picture. But I need to create a tab to help this circle stay in my picture. What I'm going to do is actually fold it and create a little corner. And I'm going to fold it again. So I'm going to have two corners on my tab. It looks like a little table. And then I still have my circle. I'm going to need to use the glue bucket to push down and get the glue and I need to stick it to the back of my circle while I make a tab. The other side I can stick down. Uh-oh, it just popped off. That's okay. It'll settle eventually. I might need to let it sit for a few seconds. This side is the side that I'm going to stick down to my paper so it stays. Now I'm going to let that stand here for a moment and rest and dry while I go ahead and show you about the curves. I've already folded a little bit on this rectangle. I wanted just a little tiny tab. See, this tab's already part of the paper. And sometimes you can have a tab that's already part of your paper. That's what this one is. We talked about this when we made grass. You remember making the fringe on the long side and creating this look, okay? Now, sometimes you might want to do a fringe, but let's say I want this to curve around. Well, paper doesn't like to curve very well. So what you're going to do down here on this short side, you're going to create some notches, little cuts all the way along on your tab. Now I can curve it. So this little short side is what goes down in the glue and I push it down, get lots of glue on it. And this time when I set it on my paper, I can spread it apart and those curves can stack on top of each other or spread around each other and spread out and I can make really awesome curves. Now I might need to hold it for a few seconds so it sticks really well because you know how glue sometimes gets a little little frustrated and doesn't want to stick. Okay I'm gonna hold it. I might even have to count to 10. Okay and if your fingers are sticky you might have to take them and dry them off a second. Remember it's like magic glue and if you rub it it kind of goes away. I'm gonna spin this around stick it down stick it stick it and hold it so it really tries to stay better in place okay so you can see my tab is in place and i can fold that a little bit more if i need to or get it in a different spot this now makes curves nope still having trouble let's hold it back down now the last technique i want to show you is just the coolest i have two rectangles of paper here and i want them to put go together so they can stand up and make a wall so I'm going to cut a notch about halfway, maybe a little more than halfway. And I'm going to do the same on this one. I'm going to cut halfway up, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm going to put those two together and go all the way across to make a giant X. So these notches can go together and help form a wall. You could fold some of the notches down and create tabs. They could glue together and make more 3D sculptures. These are just the beginning of some things that you can get really excited about gluing and making things stick together. I want to see a three-dimensional landscape. Notice I've got my tabs at the bottom and I can fold them down and help them stand up. This might be a great solution for a tree trunk if you're looking to create a landscape with a tree trunk on it. I might need to hold it. Remember this glue, you just rub it until it goes away. It's like magic. When you're done today, always make sure to put the lid on the glue. Make sure to put the scissors back here so somebody else can find them nicely. Look at how my sculptures stick up off the paper today. And you can see all mine are purple. I want yours all different colors to create your landscape today. Have fun. I can't wait to see what you make.